See, let me tell you what I see. I see plenty of storms. Now, let me tell you something, right? Challenges are no indication that you are out of God's will. Did you hear me? Now, something is very hard doesn't mean it's not God's will for you. Are you with me now? So, stop getting God's will by the storms you go through. Thank God for deliverance. But did you read the Bible says that even though you go through eh, the fire and the waters, it will not overtake you because I will be with you. What you should be checking in the midst of the storm is the presence of God. Psalm 23 says something. It says, um, do I walk through the valley of the shadow? That means in walking, you will walk through it someday. But this is the amazing part. You're only walking through. That is not your destination. The second amazing part is that you are going to walk through. It will not consume you because God is with you. His rod and his staff, they will comfort you. We are talking about the presence of God, the rod and the staff. Glory to God. I said, challenges are going to come. I said, okay. Well, and you know, when you are telling somebody something and he has no experience, there's a, this attitude. There, like, oh, okay, okay, okay. We thank God. All right. We'll go through it. In Jesus' name, we'll go through it. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. So when this day coming, the next day, yes, Pastor, you spoke about this. So I say, yes, I did. But thank God. But that hard thing, that thing that is very hard has been made easy for you. In the name of Jesus. Those stumbling blocks, right? Those, those steps that you needed to take and they look like giant strides. That made me remember a story, but you know the power of God is so strong. Yeah, I'm telling you that the things that were impossible from today, from today, you will enter that realm of possibilities. Endless possibilities. Yes, dare to step out in faith. Dare. I hear my heart jump into the waters. You will not drown. Remember, we said if Jesus could do it, he can do it, right? That means I see somebody walking on waters. So I, that means if waters are challenges, you will walk on those challenges. <laughs> no, you are not answering like you believe it. I'm telling you what I'm seeing, sir. I say if Jesus walked on water, you will. Do you know? Let me let me give you an exegesis, right? The first time God's people were conf confronted with water, water represents challenges in life. Are you with me now? Say challenges. <laughs> now I believe you are following me. The first time they were comforted with those challenges, God told Moses, what is in your hand? He said, a rod. God. Do you know what I got from there? That means the answer was already with them. They didn't know they were crying. So the answer is here. Did you hear me? I said, the answer is here. There are no questions without an answer. This is the answer. I said, you have the answer. The first time they faced that storm, sir, God told them to part the sea. Sir, the second time they faced the storm, it was Elijah. God told him to part the sea. When Jesus faced the storm, Jesus walked on the sea. Parting the sea is a waste of time. Walk on it. Some of you, the sea might not part when you face it. That storm might not go away when you face it. But don't worry. You don't have to cry. Walk on it. Walk on it. Walk on it. Say, walk on it. Say, I will walk on it. That means when those challenges come, you will eat them up. I give glory to your name.